It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, two great middle schools vying for the chance to become the third of our four semifinalists in this competition, our 32nd year here in Prince George's Schools. Let's meet today's teams. First from Oxon Hill Middle School, would you please say hello to Jeremiah Vaughn, Ryan Vasquez, and Lexan Diang. And from William Wirt Middle School, please welcome Eric Herrera his cousin, Andy Herrera, and Madison Lyons. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play again for the chance to move on in our competition. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly before we start. Ryan, would you try that buzzer for me? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Lexan and to Jeremiah. And Andy, give the green button a push. It too seems A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you and to Eric and to Madison. Congratulations, guys, for being chosen to represent your schools. You all look like great ambassadors. May the better team win. We go alphabetically O before W, so Oxen Hill and Ryan, let's play the ball. Let's do Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. points. We're going to start out with a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. This strange animal is called the slow loris. It has the face of a bear, it moves as slow as a sloth, and because it has hands like a monkey, it belongs to the same order of mammals that we human beings do. What order is that? Mammals. Oxen Hill. Mammals. Not mammals. No, what order of mammals does it belong to, as do we? Apes. Good try. Primates. Primates is what we were looking for there. Go again. Uh, let's see. Um, red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. All right, teams. Your question is as follows here. If you're suffering from amblyopia, you have a lazy what? Eye. Oxen Hill. Lazy eye. An eye. Yeah, opia was your clue there. That suffix. Good listening skills there, Lex and good. Amblyopia, lazy eye, go Ryan. Um, let's get physical for 15. Physical for 15 points. Teams, an oxymoron is like a jumbo shrimp. Well, they're in the solar system, small giant sounds like an oxymoron, but of the planets in our solar system, what two planets are the two small giants? The two small giants. I need them both. Andy. Um. And Neptune and Uranus. You got them both. Nicely done. Following Jupiter and Saturn. Okay, go green. Uh, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, you know, botanically, potatoes are tubers. And spinach and lettuce are really just these. William Wirt? Leaves. They're leaves. Yeah, botanically, they're just leaves. We eat them. Put them in our salad. Go. Uh, Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. One of the great scientific hoaxes of the 20th century was the man who said that the canals on this planet were made by intelligent beings. Oxen Hill. Mars. Mars, that's right, good. Red. Uh, 
Green Things for 15. Green Things for 15 points. Teams, Methuselah is the name of the 5,000-year-old bristlecone pine in California, thought to be the oldest living thing on Earth. Like all other pines, it belongs to what group of trees that are sometimes called evergreens? Conifers. William Worth. Conifers. Conifers. Good. Go. Andy. Uh, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this vitamin, also known as ascorbic acid, is found in the largest amounts in raw vegetables, lesser amounts when those vegetables are cooked. Name that vitamin. Pick a letter. Vitamin E. Oxen Hill. Vitamin E. Not vitamin E. Good try. William Hort? Vitamin K. It's right in the middle. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. All right. Try again. Green. You're in the lead. 90 uh, to 65. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, there was a British author called G.K. Chesterton, and he said that brave men are all these which we are because we have backbones. What phylum do we belong to, William uh, verte Vertebrates. Vertebrates, yeah. Brave men are all vertebrates, yeah. They got a spine. They stick up for what they believe in. All right, go green. Uh, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. You know, even heroes have character flaws and weaknesses. So that we say no matter how esteemed someone is, they have these body parts made of clay. Oxen Hill. What are made of clay, even if you're a hero? Heart. Not your heart. Good try. These are made of clay, even though you are heroic. Go ahead. Uh, bones. Good try. Feet. Feet of clay is the phrase. Try again, please. Green. Uh, Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, if a star explodes, it's called a supernova. Well, if collapsed stars explode together, they are known as this kind of nova with a prefix that means 1,000. Someone's got a ring. What kind of nova? Oxen Ke Hill? Kilo nova. Kilo nova, that's it. Good. You were listening. Go, Ryan. Nice answer. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, there is in zoology something called Allen's Rule that says a warm blooded mammal in the northern part of its range versus the southern part has these body protuberances that are smaller so they don't lose so much heat. Give me two body protuberances on an animal that shrink in colder areas so the animal doesn't lose so much heat. The correct answer is ears and tails. So you have little stubby tails and little wee ears so you can keep all that heat inside. The buzzer says that first round is over. we got a close game. Oxen Hills at 75, William Wirt at 100, and we'll be right back with round two. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. And yes, I hope you're playing along too and testing your own science IQ. We're not going to ask any more science questions for a few moments. Let's do a few introductions. Let's go over to first to Oxen Hill Middle School. And Ryan, welcome to you and your team. Thanks. Tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Uh, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman, absolutely. I know he's out there rooting for you. Uh, you guys, I know, were county champs a few years ago, and uh, I know he was on the poster along with Mr. Muniz, and uh, he's going to be out in just a few moments, too, your wonderful sponsor. Any alternates on your team? Yes. Who are they? Shim uh, Awala. Wonderful. We'll bring the... Uh, alternates out later as well. Uh, tell me something that you like to brag about. When you tell people you go to Oxen Hill, what's one of the best things going there? Why do you like to go to school? Uh, well, we won first place in our choir competition last year Very and nice. our orchestra and band. Wow. So a lot of musical talent down there as well as scientific yes. talent. Uh, tell me about yourself, Ryan. What do you see yourself doing someday? Well, in the future, I think I can see myself as a graphic designer or a chef. Yeah. A chef, yeah. You like to cook? Yes. Yeah. Did you make us anything today? Maybe a pizza. Oh. <laughs> 50 extra points for them. <laughs> Got a pizza coming our way. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Lexa, nice to have you here today. And uh, he reminded me, Lexa did, that he was part of the Spelling Bee last year. Another elite group of contestants. Nice to see you back again. And I know, I hope you'll compete again this year over at the University of Maryland. Tell us about yourself. What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, in my spare time, I like to play video games. Yeah, and that's 
That's a normal kid. That's what we all do today, what kids do today. And, you know, it builds a lot of hand-eye coordination, and it's, uh, it's good stuff. Tell me what you want to do when you get older. Uh, I want to be in, I want to do neurology when I get older. Yeah, studying the brain, and you told me you watch another number of TV shows, and there are a lot of medical programs out there. Good luck to you. Jeremiah, nice to see you back again. You were here on Oxon Hills Science Bowl team before, and then you were here when you were in elementary school at the Fort Foot. So you're an old hand at this. Yeah. What do you like about the Science Bowl? Uh, the Science is great. Like, I'm on TV. Yeah, <laughs> of course, you're on TV, and people can see you, and they can see how smart you are, too. And you're all good sports, too, and that's all, almost as important as, uh, it is as important as uh, knowing a lot about science. What do you want to do someday? Well, I may want to be a minister or an architect. Yeah. I have a lot of job choices that I want. You I do. You even told me you were thinking about being a teacher, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need good teachers, and something tells me you'd be a good one. Welcome back. William Wright, nice to have you guys here for the very first time. And we got two cousins. And Madison, you're not related to these guys, are you? No. All right, we won't hold that against you. Tell us about William Wright. Who's your principal, Andy? Uh, Ms. Simley. Simley, yes indeed. And the sponsor of your team is? Uh, Dr. Herrera. Dr. Herrera, all right. And no relation to you guys, right? Okay. Nope. Uh, who, is, who are the alternates on your team, Andy? Uh, Alexis and um, Victoria. All right, we'll bring them both out. I know they're cheering for you down in the green room. Uh, tell me about William Ward. Best thing about the school? Uh, I guess well, the teachers are very supportive in what they do. Yeah, because without that, why go? You know, you need teachers to kind of be advocates for you, and if they see you're not moving at the right pace, you know, they take the time and they explain things to you. So it sounds like you're in a good school. What do you want to do someday, Andy? Uh, I was thinking you need to be a CIA agent or maybe uh, marine biology. Yeah, why CIA? Uh, because um, I used to watch a lot of these shows where it was like, oh, you know, a busting criminal is, you know, and you yeah. got me, you know, like, you know, interested in seeing you know, how they use, you know, common sense of like evidence and clues to find out who did this, who did that. And, yeah. Absolutely right. And our country is uh, certainly under attack from a lot of different places, cyber-wise and otherwise, and we need good people in there. Good luck to you. Eric, nice to have you with us. Tell us the Eric story. What do you want to do someday? Someday I want to be an architect or an engineer. Yeah. What would you like to design? Probably buildings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw something on 60 Minutes the other night about a, a 54 st uh, story tower in San Francisco that's sinking because they didn't put the foundation all the way to bedrock. And you know, oh. it's, and so it's leaning like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Not that dramatic. So you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big job. A lot of responsibility. Yeah. Good to have you here. Madison, you. what do you want to do someday? Um, I want to do cardiology. Yeah. How'd you get interested in that? Um, I feel like there's too many people in the world suffering from heart diseases and things like that, and I feel like it could be treated with the right person to do it. Absolutely, and heart disease is one of the number one killers here in this country, and you know, keeping your heart healthy is something uh, sometimes we forget about, but uh, your heart doesn't. It's got to keep beating all the time. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? I like to draw because I'm very creative. Yeah, well, I can tell you're a creative and a talented young lady. Let's get back to our game. William Wirt, 100, Oxen Hill, 75. Last correct answer came from the red team. Lots of points to give away. Ryan, where do we go? Science Popery for 20. Popery for 20 points. We all know that fake news, which is much talked about today, is not very good for us. But fake drugs can be good for us in experiments because you need those as controls. What is a fake drug otherwise known as in a scientific experiment? What is its other name? It's called a placebo, a placebo. And sometimes people that get the placebo say, hey, I feel better. That's called the placebo effect because all they got was sugar pills. Go again, red. Let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. Teams in Colorado, the 14 highest mountains, of the 14 highest mountains, four of them are named for clouds. There's Mount Stratus, Mount Nimbus, Mount Cirrus, and Mount what? Give me another cloud. Ryan. Columbus, Columbonia. Say it again. Columbonius. Uh, no. Not quite, not quite. Andy, Mount Nimbus, Mount Stratus, Mount Cirrus, and Mount what? Stratus. We said Stratus. Cumulus, Mount Cumulus, the big puffy cotton balls. That's another mountain out there. Go red. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. All right, maybe you noticed it last summer, but these periodical insects didn't read the calendar because instead of waiting for 17 years to come up, some of them came up early. Can you name them, Andy? Cicadas. Cicadas, yeah. They can't fly very well. You know, they fly into walls now because really they've had no experience. Go. 
Re agreed. Uh, body systems for 15. Body assistance for 15 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, uh, Aaron Rodgers, quarterback of uh, Green Bay Packers, he recently broke his collarbone, which is otherwise known as the scapula, the clavicle, or the humerus. Clavicle. Clavicle, that's right. Good answer. Ryan, go. Uh, body assistance for 25. Body assistance, 25 points. Big one in that category, teams. The saliva in your mouth, pH-wise, is basic or alkaline. Even though water has no taste, when it mixes with the saliva, it gets slightly acidic, which means it stimulates what taste buds on your tongue? You got four choices in there. Which taste buds? The sour ones, the sour ones. Acidic, like lemon juice and orange juice, that acid, that's sour, okay, and that's acid. Go again, red. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25, big one in that category. Teams, maybe you've never heard of the wheat berry. The wheat berry is the actual part of the wheat that contains the kernel. And that kernel contains the germ and the bran and something called the endo-what, which is the actual food stored inside that kernel. Give me the suffix, endo-what. Skeleton. An endoskeleton, good try. Remember, we're talking about a plant here. Endo-what, endo William Ward. Uh, endosperm. Endosperm, that's it. Good answer. Thank you, Eric. Good assist there. Go, Andy. Uh, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if you put a B in front of this green thing, you've got yourself an ongoing web diary. A log, as in blog, B-L-O-G. Go again, green. Uh, Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, it sounds like Washington, D.C. needs its own version of the Pied Piper because it has been voted the whatiest city in America. Who did the Pied Piper get rid of? Rats. It's the rattiest city in America. Not something to be proud of. Go again, green. Uh, science probably for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, if you went outside and watched the Orion meteor showers, you saw little bits of what most famous comet of all time come floating down. Most famous comet, Oxen Hill. I'll pass it to Jeremiah. Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet, that's it, Jeremiah. Good, go. Uh, science Potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25, big one in that category. Teams, a paleo Biologist, P-A-L-E-O, a paleobiologist studies living animals to understand better animals that are now what? Damn. William Ward. Instinct. Not instinct, no, no. Paleobiologists study living animals to better understand what kinds of animals? Extinct. Extinct. No, no, fossilized, fossilized. Paleo is a prefix that talks about fossils, okay. If you had said dead animals, I would have asked for a little more information as well. All right, 95, 145, still, you can do it, Oxen Hill, let's go. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25, big one in that category, teams. The most energetic forms of light in the universe are these kinds of rays. Not alpha, not beta, these. Ultra. Oxen Hill. Ultra. Ultra. Ultraviolet. No. Ultraviolet rays. Not ultraviolet, nope. William Ward. Uh, gamma. Gamma, that's it, yeah, alpha, beta, beta, gamma. Go again. Uh, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams in the Transformer movies, Megatron used to get his science all mixed up. He got the Earth's gravitational field mixed up with this field. Atmosphere. What's that? Atmosphere. Which got? Atmosphere. Field. Not atmosphere, no. nope. He confused, Megatron did, the Earth's gravitational field with this field. The magnetic field. Magnetic field, that's the right answer. Good comeback. Go green. Uh, Dateline science for five. Dateline science for five points. Teams, scientists now know that the number of flying insects is dropping because they've noticed that few of them splatter on a car's what? Windshield. Windshield. It's called the windshield test. Yeah, there aren't as many up there as there used to be. You know, you had to use your windshield wiper fluid to get them off. Go red. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points, teams. The new Arctic apple that has been genetically designed will not turn brown when you cut it. Yay! It doesn't rust. It does this. What is the scientific process, Andy? Rot. Not rot. What's the scientific term to describe rusting 
that a cut apple does, but it won't if it's an Arctic apple. Corroding. Oxidation. It oxidizes. It won't oxidize. All right, read again. Uh, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points, teams. The replacement of the ankle is getting to be more and more popular as it gets more sophisticated. But the replacement of that joint is far behind the replacement of what two other joints that a lot of people have replaced. The knee and the hip. The knee and the hip. Go red. 25. They line science for 25 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. If you know Lego, you know that Lego recently came out with four new figurines all of outstanding female scientists, including this woman. She was America's first African-American female astronaut. Name her for 25 points. That is Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison. All right, only three questions left. Where, Ryan? Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points, teams. What kind of scientists used radiocarbon dating on a canoe that they found washed up onto one of the keys by Hurricane Irma? What kind of scientist was trying to discover more about that canoe by radiocarbon dating it? Not a paleontologist, an archaeologist, an archaeologist. Okay, Rick? Dateline science for 15. Dateline Science for 15 points teams. The Nobel Prize in 1922 for physics went to this man who didn't have money to give a tip to the bellhop at his hotel, but he gave him a little note and said, one day this may be worth more than the tip. It was. It was recently auctioned off for $1.65 million. Who was that scientist? The only scientist. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Okay. Guys, come on, put on your thinking caps. All right, 10 points, where are we? Um, Dateline for 10 points, the last question of the game. All right. This law that is designed to protect animals in peril may itself be endangered. The Endangered Species Act is what we were looking for. All right, game is over. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back. Some tough questions today, but equally tough competitors. Let's look at that final tally. It's Oxen Hill 100, William Wirt 180. Congratulations, Green Team. Eric and Andy and Madison, we're going to see you in the next round. And uh, Dr. Herrera, nice to see you here. I know how proud you are of these young people here. And Alexis and Victoria, congratulations to you as well. Oxen Hill, you guys did a nice job. Let's give them a hand. Nice job. Jeremiah and Ryan and Lexant and Chima and Mr. Muniz. Always good to have you here. Always good to have Oxen Hill with us. Nice to see you as well. See you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. Till then, bye-bye.